Hello and welcome to a Behind the Bench episode. Um, so I've been busy working on my buck converter which I'm sure most of you know. Uh, this is the latest version and it's working really well. Um, now in this edition of my buck converter you can see we've got two uh, 10 turn trimmers down here for adjusting the voltage and current. Um, so this buck converter is designed to set the voltage and current to your needs, set it and then forget it. Uh, but there is another version that I'm making and it's, it's more or less identical um, with the exception instead of um, trimmers that are, are soldered directly to the circuit board we've got uh, headers which you can plug a 10k potentiometer into uh, and then you can panel mount this to make a lab bench power supply. So let's plug this back in. Um, and that allows you just to you know, really easily mount this buck converter with a power supply into an enclosure, um, put a uh, volt and amp meter on. Uh, I'll point out down here we've got a fixed 12 volt output for a volt meter, uh, so you can add a display really easily. And then you just mount your uh, current and voltage uh, potentiometers on the case of your enclosure, and away you go. Um, but there is a bit of a problem I've come across. So I'll just plug this in, power it up. So I've got my digital multimeter hooked up to the output of my buck converter here. And if I take the voltage potentiometer and adjust it, let's say I want to adjust the output to 12 volts exactly. Um, the, the potentiometer is really sensitive. Like trying to get it to exactly 12 volts just takes too much effort. You really got to undershoot and then overshoot and you're doing really tiny adjustments so it's it's not very practical although it does adjust it fine it goes down to 1.2 volts and if I crank it all the way it, it goes up to 32 volts which is the output of my power supply there. Um, you know, it, it works well but it's just it's too finicky it needs to be improved. So I've got the idea of adding a separate potentiometer uh, side by side so you'd have quad potentiometers on the front of your enclosure and um, you're going to have a, a fine and a coarse adjustment for current and voltage. Um, so this is a 10k potentiometer and I want to put this 1k potentiometer in series with it so that we've got one potentiometer for coarse adjustment and then one for fine adjustment just for fine tuning. So I'm going to do that now and uh, we'll see if it works. That was a pretty easy addition to add. So this potentiometer is the coarse adjust and then this one's the fine. And the idea is you would have the fine adjust uh, set in the middle position to begin with. Um, so let's say once again I want an output of 12 volts. So I'd first adjust the coarse until I'm in the, the right ballpark. And then I'd come over to the fine adjust and then I can either move it up or down and it's just going to adjust the, uh, the output just gradually rather than being super sensitive. So you can see I can really fine tune and hone in on that uh, 12 volts without a big issue unlike before when I only had the single potentiometer. Uh, this just makes it so much more user friendly uh, than mucking around with this one which is just way too sensitive uh, on its own. So yeah, I think that is a pretty handy feature that I'm going to add into uh, my kit sets. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.